Okay, so today we're going to go over perimeter, area, and volume. We're going to start with perimeter. So perimeter is defined as the continuous line forming the boundary of a closed geometric figure. The formula for perimeter is P equals 2 times length plus width. We're going to practice perimeter using this shape and the formula that we just went over. Okay, so first, P equals 2, so L stands for length. So we're going to count the length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in parentheses I'll put 6 plus then the width. So we're going to calculate or count the width. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4. Okay, so now we have 2 times 6 plus 4. If we think to our PEMDAS list and the order of the operations, we would need to do what's in the parentheses first, which is 6 plus 4. So can someone tell me what 6 plus 4 is? That's right, it's 10. So now we have 2 times what's in the parentheses, which is 10. So it's 2 times 10. And 2 times 10 is 20. So we will write P equals 20 units. Next we are going to do area. Area is defined as the number of square units that covers a two-dimensional shape. The formula for area is A equals length times width. Using that formula, we're going to calculate the area of this shape. So we're going to write A equals, first we need to find out the length, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to write down 4 for L times, and then we need to write down the width, which is 1, 2, 3. Can someone tell me what 4 times 3 is? That's right, it's 12. So, the area of this shape is 12 squared units. You could write it out like I did, 12 squared units, or you could write it like this, 12 units squared. You can put the 2. Either way, they both mean squared units, which is what you need for area. Now volume. Volume is defined as the measurement of space or capacity an object takes. The formula for volume is V equals length times width times height. We're going to take that volume and use it to find the volume of this three-dimensional shape. So first, we're going to look at how many layers there are, which layers can be uh, vertical or horizontal, and there's only one layer. So we will write one multiplied by then we'll count how many are in this layer, which is one, two, three. So we will write three. Now we will multiply one times three. One times three equals three. So the volume for this shape is three cubic units. Okay, so now, just a quick reminder about how you label your answers. For perimeter, it's just the units. So it'd be 20 units, or if it was inches, 20 inches, 20 centimeters, 20 meters. It would be just 20 and then just the unit. Area has to have a squared unit. So in this case, it's 12 squared units. So it can be 
it's measured in inches, it'll be 12 squared inches, 12 squared centimeters, 12 squared meters. Now volume, volume has to be cubic units. So again, this is three cubic units, but let's say it was inches. It'll be three cubic inches or three cubic centimeters. It just has to be cubed. Okay, so now what I want you to do is write down in your math journal the differences between perimeter area and volume. And I want you to write down examples to support your answer of the difference between these three. Um, I will come around and check those. So if you finish and I haven't came and check it yet, just set it aside and leave your notebook open. And you can go ahead and pull out a pra the practice sheet that I handed out this morning. You can, you can continue working on that.